All right, guys, welcome back to Destiny. So we are now on the um, what was the city called? I can't the tower. Yeah. So we're gonna go meet our mentor for our class, which is Titan, and let's see what he's got to tell us and what he's got to give us. Maybe give us some gear, some um, skills. I don't know. I believe he is this guy down here. Yeah. What's that marker behind us? That's uh, maybe more quests to pick up. Okay, we're gonna go check out this first. Seeing as this is what the game's telling us to do in the, in the left hand side. There we go. So we got the Warlock Vanguard there. That's the Warlock class. The Hunter. And this guy's the Titan. That's what we are. For the fight. So welcome, Guardian. Welcome to the fight. This is my present, my reward for being alive. And also, it looks like he's got armor you can purchase, which is all level 4, 4, 6. Yep. I think we're level 2. Maybe three? Three at the most. I think we're two though. You can purchase emblems as well. I think that might be stuff to put on your armor. Just to give it a nice little look. Cosmetic stuff. And these are gear that you you purchase with um, these badges, these marks that you get for doing um, PvE dungeons with other players. I think that's right anyway. And that's Crucible marks, which is PvP. So, I think we've done done everything here. Okay, actually, open the character, and let's just equip that chest piece he just gave us. So we can equip that right now. We have got nothing else to equip. Have we got any other weapons now? Okay, that's all. That's everything we can equip so, so far. So we can come out with that. Okay, the tower gunsmith can equip you with better weapons. Um, Is that this guy over there? So I think this is pretty much maybe the same as the Alpha, you know, the introduction to the city telling you everything. Uh, this is the Postmaster. What's this guy going to give us? Welcome. Yeah, it's just a thank you for, um, and, and some currency as well. Give us some glimmer for, thanks for being a part of the beta. And this is the gun guy. This guy going to sell us a gun. I think as well, this, like, your bread and butter is obviously a gun. And you can, you can increase and upgrade it a lot throughout the game. So choose a weapon. This is one our, we have to choose a reward now. Auto rifle, pulse rifle, scout rifle, or a hand cannon. Seeing as we are like a titan, I can imagine that's going to be close range. So it's going to either be a, it's not going to be a scout rifle we're going to go for. Pulse rifle or an assault. I think we've got an auto rifle. So I'm going to go for the pulse rifle. And also, these are more weapons you can purchase, level 4 to 8. And this is ammo. Okay, doke. Goodbye. Let's just um, put that away. Um, let's quickly check that weapon we just got. We, that, that secondary weapon is a special weapon, so we can't equip that. There's more damage than this one now. So we're going to use that push rifle for now. And then um, the secondary weapon is going to be the shotgun. Because it's the only one we can use. Okay, so we're going to be port to the ship. So this is our ship that we just got, I think. Maybe it's been upgraded a little bit, repaired. Because I think it was a little bit out of shape when we first got it with the ghost. Oh, you can jump. Whee! Yeah, so I think it's the only time you ever see your character in third person, which is the um, the city. I don't know if there's going to be more cities throughout the game. There'll probably be little, little areas where it's friendly, neutral, you know. Okay, this is the ship, right? So, time for you to take your journey beyond. Yep, is my ship. And okay, and these are vehicles. You can travel around on the ground when you're actually in a map. You know, like in the mount. I'm not sure if I can purchase them. I haven't got enough glimmer. I think I may have one already. I'm not sure though. And what else have we got? So I think we've got a um, a vendor down here as well. Just quickly check out what he's got. Yeah, she's got Vanguard stuff. All I haven't got any, excuse me, any marks to spend. Yep. So when you're finishing the tower, press that touchpad. Yep, and go to orbit. So now let's see what other missions we've got now. Because in the in the alpha, there was only one mission, and then it was a, a dungeon and an explore exploration mission as well. So I'm thinking there might be a bit more on this. Okay, so we can set destination, see where we can go. A tower, that's where we are. 
The only planet to go to was Earth. The last time in the alpha, the PvP was down here in the corner. It's not there now, so it's the, our only option is Earth. The Divide. I think this is the mission that we actually did in the alpha. The Divide. It sounds um, familiar. You can change the difficulty. Mission modifiers. What does that mean? Enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive. Do you get better rewards? Oh, it's level 5. I'm not doing that. No chance. <laughs> Not worth it. Right, so level two, stick with our own level so we can kill enemies within maybe less than ten shots and not going crazy shooting each, each and every one. There's so little left out here. We were lucky to even find this ship. A guardian can't do much to protect the city with that one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen once. We can do it again. Alright, so, yeah, our only place we can go right now is Earth. So we're going to go and find an upgrade for our ship so we can go to other planets further away. Let's do this. A Guardian ship was recently shot down here. If the Fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. There's other players over there just then as well, I don't know if you noticed. Okay, so investigate the downed guardian ship in the steps. I think that must be over there, that's the only mark I can see on the screen. So let's head over there. There's two more guys over there. Level 8, I think I'm level 2. What's that? Oh, birdies. Flappy birds. Right, where are we going? That's it. Is there an enemy on the left there somewhere? Let's just head towards the other guys there. This is my new gun I just got. Oh, it's bear's fire. Okay. That's not that bad, actually. It's the pulse rifle. The aim is a bit wobbly every time you shoot. Oh, it's got a short clip as well, actually. It's good for um, precise shooting, I guess. Here's the ship. Let's deploy ghost. Ships avionics are completely catatonic, but I can call their last transmission. They managed to restore an information hub here. Down in the tunnels below. We should check it out. Okay. So it looks like the missions actually have some structure behind them this time compared to the alpha. Last time it was just like, didn't make sense what I was doing or there was no reason for any of it. And what's that noise? Whoa, what's that? Um, okay, go this way. Keep going. I might actually switch back to that other weapon I had before, you know, because I don't think I like this pulse rifle. If it, if it did more damage, I'd probably like it, but it's not doing too much. Oh my god, I lost quite a lot of health then. Let's regenerate that. There we go. Okay. How many more left around here? This one there. Yeah, I'm quite sure this is only doing 16 damage, yeah? And the other gun, I think was doing 20 damage per shot. Let's test that out. Let's switch weapon. That's the other weapon that we started with. See how much damage it does. So we're going inside, aren't we? Where are we going? In here. Yep. This is stairs. There we go. Go down these stairs. What's that? What's that? Is that like... Oh, maybe it's like crafting materials. Spin metal. Okay. We're going this way. How do I throw grenades? I've got grenades. I think it's going to be L1. I'll try it next time we see a bunch of enemies. Because R1's melee, L2's aim, and R2's shoot. Let's try it on these guys. Yep, that's a grenade. Yeah, it does nice damage. Yeah, that does, does 20 damage, that gun. I'm going to keep using this one. It's definitely more powerful. I think it's got more bolts and a clip, and it's also not burst, and it's more accurate, it feels. A map of the entire area. 
got a helmet there. Okay, Ghost is looking at this map now. He's going to do a bit of research and find what we're looking for. What we really need to find is a warp drive, so we can jump to any planet or moon. Our only hope is where we found our ship. We have to go back. The good thing about this game as well, they can expand it as much as they want, because it's all about planets, you know? They're not just extending um, a part of the map in the full open area. You can just make a new zone anywhere. So we're going to head back to the ship that we found, or maybe our ship, I don't know. Some more enemies there. That gun's, this gun's way better. It's a bit inaccurate, actually, at, at distance. As long as we get close enough, we'll be alright. I think, I think the grenades as well, actually. Let me try that. Yeah, they're on cooldown. You don't actually have to pick any grenades up. See the bottom left now, it's on like a cooldown um, image. The bar's filling up. So that's cool. I'm going to head back towards the ship, then you say. You can probably upgrade your grenades so it comes off cooldown quicker. Or maybe you can have two at a time, then it goes on cooldown. That'd be cool. Okay, so we've got a few left. Oh, is this where we're coming to? Let's just check what the objective is. Oh, it's that way. Crap. What's it say? Is return to dock thirteen and secure it. And oh, it's where we're going to where the ship that we found on this planet, when we first left it. You know, at the start of the game. I thought it may go back to that ship. Uh, these guys respawn back quick as well. What are these other guys doing on this planet as well? I wonder. I wonder. They're level 8, so they come back to this planet, it looks like, to do something else. I think we... Are we going inside there? Yeah, that was it. Go inside there. Let's run past all these enemies outside, because, you know, it's going to waste time. We don't need to kill them. Don't need to ruin their day. Someone's doing a dance down there, on the bottom left, in the, in the chat. Is it a loot box? Oh, look, a loot box. They got a... Pair of gloves. Scanning for the warp drive. I'm gonna. Bad news. It's already in fallen hands. No. I'm gonna equip all this gear I'm picking up at the end of the mission. I think otherwise I'm gonna be in and out of the inventory screen like constantly. You have entered a darkness zone. If you die in the darkness zone, you will be returned to the start of it. Ah, okay. Maybe it's not a bad idea to equip the this new gear then. <laughs> if it's like looks dangerous. Oh, it's level three. Okay, I can put the gloves on. That's level 3 as well. That's fine. So I'm picking up level 3 stuff. I'm still level 2. Okay, so there's a bunch of mobs around here. Let's throw a grenade over there. Should get quite a few there. I don't think I've got anyone, actually. There's something that's dropped there, then. I think that might be the thing we're looking for. That's the silver ball on the floor in the middle. Clear the area first, and we'll go check it out. Anyone else hiding behind this box? Nope. This thing here. What's this? Oh, it's just a helmet. Okay, so loot appears. Oh god, what's that? Loot appears um, as like little silver balls on the floor. You have to run over to pick up. They're not that easy to see, though. I don't think. Okay, so we've got one more guy, I think. There we go. I'm gonna get the boss now. Shit, I've only got four bolts left. Um, let me just quickly check. Is the pulse rifle different ammo? No. <laughs> Shotgun time. Shit, he's got a lot of, a lot of health. Let's throw a grenade at his feet. It's off cooldown, you know, so why not? 300 damage, not bad. Does his head take more? It does. That grenade actually stunned him there. He was like not fighting back. Okay, we got more minute, more ads. Punch that guy in the face. Where's he going? Okay, melee is actually pretty effective in this against small ads. Okay, his health's going down. He's almost dead. I just picked up a bunch of pulse rifle ammo, so that's good. 
don't know where I picked it up from, it just appeared. Whoa, get to get some cover. Jesus, whoa! Okay, let's switch back to that other weapon, now that we know that they're not sharing ammo, because I prefer this one. Yeah, assault rifles are definitely better than pulse, I think. If, if that's what pulse rifles are, if they are base weapons, I do prefer assault. Eat my bullets, bitch. Have a grenade. I might kill him, actually. Nope. He is nearly dead, though. NLS drive. Level 3. Mission ends in 30 seconds. Okay. You just killed an Archon. Yeah. Crippled the fallen, and we got a warp drive. I have to get you to the speaker. Okay, so the mission's gonna end now in another 12 seconds. I think that's maybe once you've completed your objective, it just takes you out and takes you back to the tower. What's that over there? Let me pick that up. Nope. We picked up a green thing then as well, like a pair of gloves. I think they're the schematic things where you can pay to turn that into a piece of gear with a chance of it being good. And we got some rewards, gloves, and a gun. Let's continue. We've had a lot more cutscenes in the beta compared to the alpha. I don't think there was any in the alpha. There was a time when we were much more powerful. But that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice, I am the one who speaks for the Traveler. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. In its dying breath, the Traveler created the Ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us and do what the Traveler itself no longer can. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The Fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. I did. I'm sure of it. We're in this together now. They do quite a good job of making you feel important in a multiplayer game. You know, I'm not, not just a number doing the same quest as everyone else. Okay, so that was the end of that mission there. What have we got next? We've got set destination. We're back on Earth again. It's the next mission, okay? Hang on. I think that's what we just did. Restoration, where we got the thing, the um, the extra piece off of the ship. Then we got the darkness within. The dark within, excuse me. Investigate reports of a hidden power trapped in the Cosmodrome array stations. I think that is the one that was in the Alpha. <laughs> 
and that's level 4. So there's more levels in the campaign now for like, PvE. So, uh, we'll start the next part, I think, on that mission. And maybe do that mission as well if it's quick enough. Alright guys, thanks for watching, uh, see you guys in the next part. See ya.